Hi Thunder fans, Mike Benton here for Thunder Vision as today it was the last day the Thunder were on the ice before heading out on the road to open the season against the Idaho Steelheads on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So now let's take you inside right here, the Thunder locker room to hear some comments on how today's practice went and also how the team is shaping up beginning with Thunder center Craig Vallette. I really like what we had in the last couple days of practices. You know, we had a good team event on uh, Monday and then Tuesday or Monday we kept going. We went at 3 o'clock and had a good uh, flush and today was good as far as power play stuff and, and working with our line combination. So I know we definitely have a good work ethic and a lot of team speed. What does a team bonding event do for this team in getting it off on the right foot so early, and how is that so beneficial? I think it's pretty important. Right after uh, like a camp, you know, everyone's fighting for jobs, so you're not really that close with anyone, and and right after camp, everyone gets to go let kind of let loose. You really get to learn about guys, and it's pretty important. If you want to go to war, you got to know who you're going in with. Those two, of those guys you're going to go into war with are on your line with uh, Garrett Hunt and Kelly Chewy. Have you begun to discover? the identity of your line and what you guys are all about? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I want to really dish out the puck to the, to the wings because I got two guys that, that want to shoot and want to go to the net. So I think that's good. And, and we kind of have our tendencies right now to know where each other is when we're in the cycle. And as long as we're sound defensively, we should have a good little combination. When do you first start communicating, you as a veteran, to younger players about the demands of a road trip, especially 3-3 three and three, and what it can do on your body? I think it's got to start with like little little things like uh, make sure we're in bed, lots of water, take care of yourself. Um, all these guys have come from other teams. They're the best players on their team, have made it on this team. So they have they got to have some kind of indication. But, uh, you know, it's got to work in, in practice. As you show up 10 minutes early before you get to the rink and you get your body ready. You know, and then when you get on for that pregame skate, you're, you're working hard, you're making your passes, you're staying crisp, you've got a lot of energy, you know. And then it got, it's, got, it's got to learn that it carries into the game. What do you think so far about how you're playing with uh, your line right now, Garrett Hunt, Craig Vallette, what you guys bring them to uh, I think, well... I think we have uh, some toughness in our line with Hunt out there. I mean, he's banging, hitting guys, fighting, doing what it takes. And uh, I think uh, Vallette brings a lot of speed to the line. And uh, I think I can skate with Vallette, so it'll be interesting to see how we do. This is kind of surreal with you being in Las Vegas the last uh, few seasons and now in a Thunder uniform for this year. What have you gathered so far and uh, what does it mean to play in this community, play for this team with a head coach also like Matt Thomas as well? Yeah, well, Matt Thomas is a great coach. I mean, the community here is... I mean, by far the most support I've ever seen in hockey. I mean, AHL too. I mean, they have so much support here, and uh, I mean, it's great to be here. Well, I wish I I could say that uh, that I do have a good feel of what these guys can do in a game. Obviously, we didn't get a chance to to play the majority of this lineup uh, in the in the preseason, but uh, I managed to see a lot of them uh, during the the scrimmages, and I think I got a good feel for what we're gonna have. I and uh, if you want to put a label on our team, it's gonna be. A team that's going to be tough to contain. We've got some big, rugged, strong guys up front that skate real well that are going to go to the net hard. And I think we've got some centermen that can to complement those types of wingers. And uh, more than anything, I think we're a team that's going to score by committee, and we're going to be a team that wears a lot of teams down. And I like I like us in one goal game situations because of the character and the and the gritty style that we're going to have. One big line in terms of beginning a lot of buzz in that regard has been the Kelly Chewy, Garrett Hunt, and Craig Vallette line. When did you first think? You know, I put these three players together, and something big is going to happen physically. I think it was uh, Tuesday during the scrimmage, uh, the scrimmage portions of uh, the tra training camp. The first Tuesday, I had them on a line, and they and they dominated. They were extremely tough to contain. They they were getting all kinds of opportunities at the net, even off the rush because they're strong along the wall. They made the right plays coming out of our end. So, I I think every every time you want to look at players that you think will create chemistry but also players that play similarly so that they can they can feed off each other and I think one good thing about being being on a line is when you know what another player is going to do it always helps and you, you talk to any one of those guys playing on the line I think they know the way the other type the other player on the line plays and that makes it a lot easier to be able to adapt in a game situation. When do you begin to start feeding these guys about what your opponent in Idaho is going to be all about especially with the huge changeover they had on their roster after last season? I haven't even really looked at totally what their roster looks like. Obviously, I know they've been adding some good players, and you know, some of the players uh, they've deleted a lot of the guys uh, that were were signed in the off season, just like we have. But the um, and the, uh, there's not going to be a team that's 
that's easy to play against, that's not going to have a ton of weapons and be extremely dangerous in all three zones. So uh, I'm not as worried about the opponent as I'm worried about our team. I want to make sure that we're focused doing what we do well and knowing how we're going to have to execute to win a game against Idaho this weekend and then uh, Ontario the weekend after. So it's, uh, it's more about us right now than it is about anybody we're playing. Finally, where did you find out about this team after a good team bonding event for a, a day and especially also rain? Well, I, I found out that uh, the guys, uh, when we played our football game, it was uh, major junior players against the NCAA, and there was about a six-inch height differential between each uh, each player. So I think I figured it out that all the small guys have to wait and go to college because they're, uh, they're not huge prospects <laughs> as 16-year-old little guys. But uh, it, was, um, it was a real fun day, and uh, I think we found out that the thing that I found is I think we've got a real good, great group of guys here that uh, that get along well, have a lot of fun together, and are, are going to play hard for each other, and that's exactly what I wanted to see out of that day.